Pay very close attention when you first enter the fog gate with Quelag because she can jump at you really quickly and if you get stuck in a corner, you're going to be in deep crap. Quelag has several attacks that you'll need to learn in order to pull off this fight successfully. The spider has one here while it breathes fire all over the ground in front of it which is a great opportunity to get in some hits. Whenever you see her reach down and hug the spider like that, you need to get the hell away as soon as you can, which isn't always easy because of the lava pools. Because this telegraph is rather easy to spot, you always want to be positioned somewhere where you can see her torso. However, if you're not sure what to do and you think she might be doing it, just roll away as fast as you can anyway and it'll probably save you. She'll do many melee attacks throughout the fight, but generally if you stay close to her head, either on the left or the right, they'll go over you or around you, so this is a good safe place to be while you can get in some attacks while she does it. One of the dangers of attacking her sides or getting in too close to her, as you saw right there, is that sometimes you can get trapped in her legs and you can't get away when she does her AoE. So just try and be careful, and if you get stuck, just keep rolling and don't give up. If at any time during the fight you see the spider raise up like that, you want to move away because he'll slam his legs down in a fiery AoE and you don't want to get hit by it. A couple of notes about this fight. First, she's very weak to lightning, so if you use gold pine resin on your weapon, you'll do increased damage. Second, she's immune to fire. This includes pyromancies, so you don't want to be doing fire damage. Having a good fire shield helps with this fight as you can mitigate more of the fire damage should she hit you with a sword swing. You can also use the pyromancy flash sweat, which gives you fire resistance. Also be sure to note that the lava pool she spits on the floor over the course of the fight will disappear after time, so the room doesn't continuously fill up and it's not a race against time. It's a good idea to have your weapon at plus 10 for this fight in order to make it go faster. If you're short on large titanite, you can farm the slugs in the swamp area in order to get some quickly.